Who are you who do not know your history? You came all this way for answers. Only currency I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the divide. They're lost to you. That's a valid question. Who are you that you do not know your own history? They say history is written by the victor. But who's the victor in history? And how do we know that we even know our history? How do we know that the ancient tomes or the Dead Sea Scrolls, maybe the most ancient libraries of the old world, are even telling the truth? How do we know history is what we're told that it is? At one time we believed that the city of Troy didn't exist until one man spent 10 years looking for it. Think about this. How much of history, or at least what we're taught of history, is an outright lie? The Cold War. Think about how many falsehoods are perpetuated about the Cold War. Think about all the people who said feminism was a conspiracy by the Soviets to slow the population growth of the United States. How many of them said long hair was communism or black rights was communism? Think about all the falsehoods of the Soviet Union being the greatest evil in the world while they supported the liberation efforts of innumerable countries while the United States erases its own history of the terrible things it did to nuns in Nicaragua, the democratically elected governments that overthrew the genocides that it carried out. Think about the Texas history books that have already removed Cesar Chavez from history and have already removed, some of them, even mentions of slavery or native genocide. How many times have you heard a right-winger claim that the pox-filled blankets that were given to natives was not deliberate? Oh, it was an accident, they claim. Despite the fact that all the written records by those who gave them the blankets knew that they were infected. Look at these simple revisions of history that are believed by many. Then ask yourself if we're so easily fooled. How do we know any of our history is true? It is written by the winners. And the winners always put their spin on it. They don't give an objective truth, they rewrite history. How many times have you ever heard somebody actually admit that the Weimar Republic was largely created because of the unending financial strain that the victorious countries of World War I placed on them. And they do bear some responsibility for that. How many times have they erased the history of the Bush family making a fortune from U.S. Standard Oil off of the Nazis? Or IBM for their punch card system used to send tens of, what, millions of people to their deaths in the concentration camps? How many times has the U.S. rewritten its history, claiming that all men are created equal, except for the black ones, the brown ones, the red ones? and deliberately exclude women. Just think of all the propaganda we have around the Cold War, how many falsehoods exist. And that is just one small piece of history when you look at the entirety of mankind. 
But who even looks at this with a critical eye anymore? We have innumerable scholars that will pour over every written work from the Roman Empire, questioning what was true, what wasn't, what was written by the victors that was complete falsehood. And when we take in the totality of all of human recorded history, how much of it is true? How would we even know? One of the things that I've been thinking about when thinking about history is the Library of Alexandria. If you know the story about how it was burned down to provide warmth to seemingly undeserving people and that they would destroy so much literature just for their own comfort. And it made me ask, is that really what happened? Did Alexandria, the, was the library really destroyed just for people's comfort? Or were they covering something up? How many texts and treaties from even more ancient times were in there? How many books about ancient societies? How many books about religions or you know religious orders that existed before the Christ God? How much of that history, how much of it was mysticism that was erased deliberately in fear that maybe competing ideas may exist the original mass book burning, if you will. How many times did the Nazis go in and destroy their own records from organizations that they set up in order to cover up the widespread homosexuality among its own members? How many times has that happened through history that we don't even know about? How many times has history been erased without our knowledge? How do we know that history is even as long as we know it to be? Maybe human beings have been around a lot longer than we know. Some people have put out some pretty convincing information that there may be societies that we are that are older than we know about. Maybe, maybe the Babylonians weren't the first. Maybe there were ones before it that we just didn't know about and that were erased by history from the empires who wanted to believe or to create the myth that they were the only true civilization in existence. So if we take just the history of the Cold War so far as we know it and start applying that same logic and that same skeptical eye to the rest of history. We now leave everything in doubt. Who are you that do not know your own history? I think we do. That's us. I don't think we know as much, as much of our own history as we think we do. I've even astounded myself by learning a lot of Soviet history, stuff that I'd never heard of because it was suppressed. Some of the great things that were done, programmed ideas that were created in order to deal with problems of societies that capitalism had no desire to confront. How many people know that the Soviets had a plan to build orbital platforms around the Earth that would capture energy directly from the, directly from the sun and then send that energy down in microwaves to be used by society? This was one of the plans that they had for dealing with global warming. And I learned this from a Paul Cockshot book, not a history book. 
or for someone who had a desire to see the truth about the Soviet Union. But even Cockshot is only one man on one subject that revealed so much. How much more is out there that we don't know? And I'm not talking about just the Soviet Union. How much of the thousands of years, or some say 100,000 years of human history, that we don't know about? The best we can do in many cases is dig up the bones of the past and make educated guesses from them. There was a Native American myth somewhere in the, um, I believe the desert region of the U.S., I don't remember exactly where, that spoke of red-headed giants. And this was accepted as a part of basically Native American mythology. Until the day those giants were found in a cave, they found the remains of men who from their own skeletal remains we determined were seven feet tall and had red hair. How much more of mythology is actually real? Maybe not real in the way we know it, but real in another way. And how will we ever know? As history is written by the winners. And how much of that was destroyed by the Catholic Church during the Dark Ages. It's a provable fact that human knowledge and human technology, knowledge and general development went backwards during that time. If we can lose information that we already have, what about history that was erased during that time? As the Crusaders invaded and plundered Islamic lands, how many books and texts, histories, oral and written, disappeared into the fires of Christian cleansing. And that's just probably one of the bigger examples. Who are we that do not know our own history? We only have ourselves to blame for that one. We allow it to be perverted, erased, by petty, tyrannical men through history, only to glorify themselves or their own ideas. There's a meme that's been floating around that showed that the Mediterranean was more advanced than Europe, and quotes from the Nazis that deliberately said to cover it up. The Nazis stole ancient the stole the swastika in order to give the Lin credibility themselves and their own perception of their own history and superiority. But isn't that something Nazis do a lot? Nazis steal symbols all the time. They steal Norse ideas. They steal Norse symbols. They stole the Slavic black sun. All of this because they have no history themselves. They are not something that was naturally existing. You can prove racism came about as a part of class. It was not something natural to mankind. It was something invented. Because the Nazis have no history. So they have to desperately steal the history of others. So again, I ask you, who are you that do not know your own history? And who are you that don't even have a history. So you have to parasitically steal it from others. If the Nazis had succeeded, what would have happened to history? Possibly the great empires of the Mediterranean, 
might have been erased. The knowledge of the Mediterranean was advanced while Germanic tribes were still living in huts. It was a sore spot for them. Would that have been erased? I'm almost certain that it would. They would have done that in order to glorify themselves and their hollow, fake science and their pathetic need, need to feel superior to other people because of their own pathetic failures. How much the rest of history has been perverted the same way. It is my fear that we may never know our own history. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.